Now, in this lecture, we want to understand about composition or we want to create our first composition. A composition will contain all your layers and will contain all the manipulation of this layer in the timeline. So your layers will be listed here and the manipulation through keyframes and frames will be you know, shown on this side. We will see that in detail. You notice that the toolbar here, everything is shaded out. I cannot use any tool. This is because to be able to use any tool or to create a layer, you need to be in a composition. So we need to create a composition. Let's create our first composition. There are many ways to create the composition. The first one is to come to composition and you have new composition here or use control N. Second one is to click on your project and then right click and choose new composition. And the best one, that's the one I like very much, is click on this button here and say create composition. I will do that. Now you have the composition dialog box. You have the composition name, you can change it. Of course, don't leave it to comp1. Then you have the basic parameters here you can adjust or the advanced one. We'll see that later on in the course. Let's stick to basic for now. You have the preset and you have the width and the height. Of course, if you don't use the preset, you can set your width and height and error all these parameters. Let's see what we have inside the preset. If you click, you have many options from the web videos to TVs. These will create very nice web movies and you have up to 4K in CC 2015 and 2K, very high resolution, of course, mainly for the TVs. Now, in our case here, we are doing motion graphics for web design or to display them on YouTube and for the web. My favorite presets are the HDTV 720 and the HDTV 1080 25 frames per second. I will not use 29.97 because it will mess up my calculation. And actually, when you're putting on the web, there is no need to use 29.97, which is very common, by the way. So let's use 720 by 25. We have these parameters for the 720 by 25. The width is 1280. The height is 720 pixels. That's what you call 720p. Keep the square pixels always. Otherwise, if you change them, it's mainly directed towards TVs and not web graphic, and it'll do some complications for you. Frame rates, let's keep it at 25. And the most important here is the time. You notice here I have five seconds at base 25. To change the time, for example, if you want 10 seconds, you will write 10 point. Or if you want 25, you can write 25 seconds and 00. zero. That will make 25 seconds. Do you notice it has changed here? For now, we want to choose five seconds. I can write five and period or dot. Choose the background color. I will leave it to black, but you can change it to anything you want. And click OK. Now we have created our first composition. Notice the composition appeared in three places. First, in the composition viewer. The background here did not appear as black because I'm using the transparency. If I toggle transparency, it will go back to the composition background uh, color, which is black. And then it appeared in the timeline. It opened in the timeline. And of course, it created the new composition in our project panel. You see how the project panel is operating. But let's say you want to change these parameters. You don't like the name to be comp1 and you want to change, for example, the time. What you do, you can come to the timeline right click on, on the name of the comp and go to composition setting. That's one way. The other way is to click on your composition in the project panel and then right click and say composition setting. For example, I will use this one. Let's change the name to first comp. And that's all we want to change here. We will not change the duration. We click OK. And we have our first composition called first comp. So this is the way to create a composition and to change the parameters of a composition or the timing or the name of a composition. Another way to change the name of a composition is just to click, choose it inside the project panel, press enter and you can write a new name. For example, click out and you have a new name. Notice that it changed the new name in the timeline. So now that we created a new composition, you notice that the toolbar here, they are all highlighted and we can start using them. 
In the next lecture, we will start creating some shapes and some text and start animating and creating a motion graphic movie. I'll see you in the next lecture.